this review is not review from car representative and a car show and not from a car factory so this is like customer review you have to say honest review from a customer so so that i'll be telling you about this car uh based on my experience she said she does not like this or uh, stuff so if you want to know detail so listen to my daughter okay so if i'm honest Okay, so this is uh, first time doing car review. I have never done like this kind of car review before, but I, I saw on the internet doing car review for this Jacktor X70 2020 in other languages, like Burmese and other, uh, maybe a lot of different languages, but no English. So that I decided to do a review video uh, for my car. This is like a front design of this car. It's appealing. Uh, it's obvious, like mm, luxurious uh, model car. It's like you, you can see obviously this car as a model, a modernized car. Uh, in 2000, around 2020, 2019 model. So they use a lot of this kind of big gray, and they don't even have a, a front camera. It this car has a 360 uh, camera. It's data running light and uh, also this is like halogen headlamp and seeing that is over here and this is like data running so you can like turn on or turn off but this one it's like at first i thought this is like a, a front parking sensor but this is not sensor this is like fake okay and um, yeah and uh, front style is uh, that's all we don't have to say a lot of things yeah so let's go to the side door so when you get here uh, this this is welcoming light if you are with a key that was start walking when you get here with the key and the, look at this uh, this is like 18 inches ring so it's like normal but uh, when you buy a Jacktor 870 uh, high grade model so it, that will be 20 inches a ring a line 20 inches a ring but that, that that is bigger. I don't I don't like that kind of big. And also this is I just I like put as an accessory uh, door handle cover. This test type is not that is not bidding. I just I, I just added. I just installed it by paying extra fees or stuff. So to be like smoother, uh, to be easy. You know when I get in the car, get out of the car because I'm a bit short. Okay. And also it has this kind of camera back mirror and this kind of uh, 360 camera so it's really good when you do like parking or stuff uh, yeah that help you a lot also this is also really good it make car maybe much more appealing okay that's great okay so when you get here it will work on you with like this kind of uh, with this point and with this light and also when you get uh, into the car before you open your car door that will be welcoming with the LED tail light here over here and also like this Jack Tall logo is kind of that we can see this car is like oh Jack Tall or like this and the A70 or like this and here we have 
like this kind of parking sensor so it's really work it's really good but this is like fake and azor uh, when you look at uh, azor this two thing so you might be thinking oh it's really good like that but this is fake azor and uh, real azor is yeah down there over there okay and yeah when you get near with your car yeah it's like welcoming you like this okay i'm folding the side mirror and with this kind of lighting so that is called they say welcoming sign okay so now i will show you the uh back seat of this car no take eight, no automatic take eight, but if you buy a uh, jack tow xmd high grade model so it has uh, automatic take eight, so you can just like open with motor or stop but in this model there is no motor so you have to like open manually okay you cannot just anything just open it and you know carry something that you want to buy you, you, you want to do anything like that okay so getting here it has oh, oh this is another space it has like 450 liter uh, space you can put anything you want when you go trip or like this but in jack tall smd uh high grade model so it has like three row seven seater but this is only five seater we don't have third row seat here so that's good i i like i like it because like even if we have third row seat but we can't normally use that kind of third row or stuff right so it has like 450 uh cargo liter space so you can use freely even like uh, some kids they can even sleep over here okay so if you like fold back your like passenger seat that will be around like a half, maybe a thousand liter cargo space so you can use that space freely okay here is also like no trouble oh here is like turbo socket one turbo socket and also yeah and also like this kind of tools yeah plus a shelf this is extra space okay so yeah that's all for this back room and some people if they are from other country so they normally uh, used to try the car from Europe and other uh, Japan car so this brand is not very popular so this brand is from China it's like if uh, if you want to understand about this car brand maybe it's similar with uh, Toyota Lexus. So Toyota company produce Lexus brand. So this is also a uh, cherry company produce Jack Tall brand like that. So they are producing SUV car. So this is the first time we can buy in our country Myanmar SUV uh, Jack Tall brand. So this is my daughter. She will be telling you just a little bit about this car as she understand this that is not about the car that is about her feeling so she like it or not so uh, the uh, previous car was uh, the previous car that I was riding was article 2019 Suzuki so that time she, she really liked that car but right now she said she does not like this or uh, stuff so if you want to know detail so listen to my daughter okay so if I'm honest I don't really like this car but I like Suzuki more than this Jetta because this je this car is like a little bit higher than Suzuki, and also like I'm like, I have headache when I you know go to trip to, uh, like on the mountain. So yeah, my feeling is like I always pomade because the echo is like at the like the down of the feet and so you mean echo vent? Yeah, echo yeah. vent is like down on like under our feet mm -hmm. knee yeah so i don't like recommend if you have like headache when you go on a trip or like that for me i 50 50 i don't i also don't say i don't like this car but i also don't you know like this car so so you like it but 50 50 yeah 50 50 normal okay what else you want to tell about this car I based have on your feeling and experience uh for experience i haven't like ride this car it's only like it's been almost month. two months uh, yeah. yeah so i don't really know the detail yet yeah okay so that is a uh, kid uh, a kid who is like 10 11 years old kid feeling on this car so uh, i forgot to say something it's like 
this review is not review from car representative and a car show and not from a car factory so this is like customer review review so we have to say honest review from a customer so so that I will be telling you about this car uh, based on my experience it's like first of all if you want to buy this car you got to be thinking about fuel consumption so in their official declaration for fuel consumption was only 8.2 liter per 100 kilometer but when you actually drive that was not uh, that that is not correct so i have been testing a fuel consumption with my own way so if you have to drive in city it's like kind of 13 14 15 liter per 100 kilometer that was oh my god it's freaking you know uh fuel consumption it's like i have to say wow like this well me it's bad whoa okay but one thing is it has 1.5 uh liter turbo engine and produce 156 horsepower and 210 newton meter uh so yeah you might be thinking with this car side the engine this engine is a bit small but when you actually drive it's not small uh, but it has turbo lag a little bit so when a gear transmission is gear changed from one gear two to one to two or two to three or like that it has 0.2 second uh, lag and also turbo start working at a 40 or 45 kilometer but it has a bit turbo lagging but when you actually drive on the highway road but it, this car is better than the previous one uh, Suzuki Artica so better than that Suzuki Artica so if you want to drive uh, a Chinese car maybe in your country I don't know where you are living right now so if you are living uh, if you are trying to if you really want to try a Chinese uh, car from uh, this kind of luxury SUV so I want to say like 60 40 60 is like I want to say 60 yes and 40 is yes or uh, no 40 is no so if you want to try this this is a uh, this car deserve to t to do a test right so if this is a part of my honest review when you look at this car for the first time uh you might be thinking it's a bit similar with a uh, jaguar or maybe the rear part is like kind of similar with um uh, land rover or stuff because right now this cherry company uh, start launching uh, the uh, Jaguar and Land Rover parts in China so that's why even though this is like tiny brand but we can even uh, uh, drive like securely on the road that is what I believe and I also already try on the highway road yeah it's a bit you know better than other 1.5 uh, normal engine car or like that so that's really great and it has a lot of function inside of the car so yeah, let's go. Yeah. No, 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 get up. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's uh I got a feeling like very solid. Okay. So before I start the engine, I will start with this uh front design. This dashboard is also they use with saw tash leather and they have a gloss box. Yeah, I have a lot of things here especially this book this is their original book okay yeah, global is not that big but not as normal so saw touch leather is very gray like luxury it's a place that we can uh, put our phone but a bit small my phone is not fitting here and uh, no wireless battery charger also they have a balloon knot one balloon knot over here but gear is uh they, they have a dual clutch transmission and you can use with manual and auto and driving function also like sport move and winter move and normal move so, okay so i will start the engine okay so when you actually start the engine so you get a a bit uh feeling it's like luxurious and sporty ties or like this here yeah, sliding okay okay so amazing thing here is like this one panoramic sunroof okay i can even open the window see but in rainy season that will not be that good oh 
Oh my god. Okay, so I have to close here. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, I will go with this one. This leather, uh, the original one is not like this. Original one is, I just use the cover of this leather, you know, seat. Because I don't want to, like, ruin and damage the original one. That's why I just use this Jet Hall original, or uh, Jet Hall leather, you know, cover of this seat. It has a lot of function over here. And this steering wheel, wow, it's great, it's really good. Okay, so I'll go with this car setting a little bit. So in this, uh, di uh, this is like digital cluster. And I already mentioned the uh, engine, a 1.5 turbo engine, uh, 156 horsepower and 210. So yeah, this is like 12.3 uh, uh, inches infotainment system. So in this infotainment system, you can check the everything maybe like this is 360 camera you can even check like this this if you want to look at this front back right and left okay so it's really good it's about getting a car setting car setting it's like auto automatic lock no and it's like double flash or like this i don't i don't know what that is and this is i normally turn this off follow me home 30 second okay don't know this and chain link flush is like if you want only three times or five times you can even adjust over here and then and yeah this is uh electric power steer remote so you can even choose like comfort or sport i normally uh, try with comfort and safe and then a lock rear mirror auto four is like when you lock the car that mirror will be automatically full so if you just like turn out you have to like fall you know with manual you know like switch over here okay and 360 and lane about shot warning but i normally turn uh, this off because when i just like switch the lane it's like showing d d d d d like this so i don't like it so in our country and uh, in uh, some some of the road we don't even have lane so i just turn it off and also like this is there's no monitoring i, I don't know what this is like turn out all the time and the last thing is like walk on function so this is Welcome on function. So welcome function is like when you get in the car, before you get in the car, when you are near with your car, it's like welcome you with the, uh, in, in front, it's like data running light, and at back, it's like auto LED lighting will be like opening. Like this LED light will open when you, before you get in the car, when you near, when you're near with your car by, with your key. So it's like, I always open this one, yeah those kind of stuff you can adjust and then it's other the eyeball and help you can read if you understand the thing okay yeah, that's all and also you do have like here in car setting is every fuel consumption and i think ifc it's like index fuel consumption every speed driving time, entire pressure monitoring, uh, like that. And also in setting and driving information and tire pressure monitoring, uh, every, I already mentioned that. And media, you can control uh, which sound are you playing. And navigation we cannot use in our country, setting. In setting, like uh, you can even change your a uh, thin style language uh, language like three language you can use uh, fault list if you have something in four here so they will show you in this uh, digital analog over space like 115 I just said it so okay and driving reminder volume setting and backlight see even you can even like adjust the setting and all this stuff okay so that's all Okay, so here, uh, the background is like headroom and leg room is like, yeah, you can sit very comfortably because, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit short guy. So, yeah, I can sit comfortably, even if you're like six feet or six feet two or like this. So even if you are six, six feet two, then you can sit comfortably here. You have a light lighting. If you want to read, so you can read. Okay, 
So, and this back back door, you know, back door uh, style, uh, the same with the you know front front door style because they use leather over here, leather, and yeah, smooth leather, soft touch leather, and here it's like speaker. Yeah, I I I got a like feeling, not rigid body vibration. When I close the door, I feel kind of like solid. Okay. And also it has panoramic 3D, uh, 360 panoramic sound root. And also it has yeah, MRS. If you want to put something here, like two cup holder over here, MRS. And then, oh, here is like two AC, AC vent, aircon vents over here. You can adjust. And also like we do have two USB port. So if you are traveling with kids, so they can charge the, uh, you know, phone to uh, USB ball. Okay, uh, but it's like cap holder. It's not. This bag a bit smaller. Uh, in other car, it's a bit bigger. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so I will show you a uh, kind of test drive style driving the car with you guys, so you can see how uh, we can drive comfortably. On the road okay so let's go so don't forget to like step on your clutch uh, brake before you uh, like open this automated parking electronic parking okay so we can start driving right now okay even this car fuel consumption is a bit high yeah. okay so when you have or are you be with this kind of slowdown it's not very bumpy or like this, slowly. Even though the fuel consumption is a bit higher than uh, other car, but yeah, wind noise, no wind noise, right? So we can't, we can't hear anything. Look at this. Okay, so I will close the door. So you can't, hear anything inside of the car when you are actually driving on the road and smooth and this is not exaggeration this is like honest review when I'm actually dri driving as a user of this car yeah so to be honest I like it if this car fuel consumption is a bit lower than this current situation current life fuel consumption like 12 13 14 uh, liter per hundred kilometer uh, in the city so that will be even better than this current situation okay so but to be honest uh, among the Chinese luxury uh, SUV maybe kind of luxury car this car we have to get rating it's like 7 out of 10 if I have to give rating uh, out of 10, that will be like seven. Design is appealing. Um, like suspension, okay, I almost forgot to mention the sus suspension. So suspension part is like amazing. So this is kind of well feather for me when I actually drive on the road. At first when I started driving this car, so I didn't think like this kind of comfort level. I didn't expect this kind of comfort level in this car, but when I actually drive this car, so you can see here, like when I am driving, so it's like not kind of like moving a lot. It's like slowly going, but uh, suspension is not a suspension, just like normal spring tie suspension, but it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. And also like, I uh, ground clear in, ground clearance is also around 8.3 inches when you don't install the step side you know uh, side of your car yeah but uh, almost right right now even if I put I add the step step side but it's almost like 7.5 or maybe almost 8 inches so you can go maybe you can use you can use this car off road and on road or like this okay Mm. Okay, so when we park the car, this 360 
Now you want to see this. Uh, that will give you this different view. In front of the car. In front of our car, we do have car. So like this. Okay, so that's what. But resolution is not very good. Okay, so it's a bit dark. So I just want to test 0 to 50 with how many minutes. Okay, so here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so it's a bit dark right now. It's already 6. So I just want to try 0 to 100 with how many minutes or stop. Okay, let's spawn move. So 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, whoa. Yeah, got it, got it. Okay, so I am waiting for another uh, other cars. So to try zero to hundred with normal mo three, two, one, go. Uh, so this is with normal move. Uh, oh, we have a lot of car. Okay, yeah, ninety, yeah, ninety, yeah. Thank you. Okay, you will see how smooth when we like actually turn around and when we do like even you turn it's like uh, slowly you know like turn it around it's like turn around smoothly or like this uh, at first when we actually look at the car size we might be thinking oh this car size is really big so that uh, so that I thought, oh my god, oh, so engine size is, is smaller than car size. That's why car will be a bit slower than that I expected. But when I actually drive this car, it's not like that. It's not like that, okay? And also when I just like drive with below 20 km per hour, this automatic, auto, automatic 360 camera start working. Okay, so now. Oh, okay. Okay, so right now. Okay, so hopefully you will get some real message, not fake. Uh, it's, I am doing review because uh, a lot of people, you know, doing this car review, it's like kind of over exaggerated. That's why I have to go with honest. Okay, so now, so this is like honest review for this car. So hopefully. You will like it. Bye bye. So yeah, we have done with doing video review. So over there, that two guy helped me a lot to do car review today. Car review. So thank you so much for helping me. Uh, black shirt with black shirt is my daughter. With black shirt with a sticker is my niece. Amazing camera man <laughs> but I didn't think he is she can be like this kind of you know like uh, shooting video very smart and nicely but amazing my daughter also helped me a lot Yeah, <laughs> but...